Outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas proud me. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. My name is Almira, and I hope that you're going to like what you're going to see. Today, I am shooting a Q&A. I put a, a, a sticker thing on my Instagram, and I told you guys to ask me some questions, and you did. Um, I did get some compliments. Thank you so much. I definitely see the compliments. I'm not going to be reading them out here because... I asked for questions but to those who did send compliments thank you so much so um i'm gonna be using my small phone for the questions and let's get into it so the first person <laughs> the first person asked um who who's your celebrity crush in sa so right now i don't have one and i haven't had one for like okay like a year and a little but my celebrity crush was Timbing Gosim Tembu. He used to act as Mabuto on the river. And obviously because I was watching the river and consuming that every day, you know, he was bound to be my crush. But um as soon as like you know I stopped watching the river, out of sight, out of mind. And then uh then someone asked who's your surgeon? Uh the gym and uh my waist trainer is my skirt um i don't have a surgeon i just used to be really consistent with the gym and waist training and um i got like the body that i wanted also i think that i have good genes my dad is really tall and my mom is really curvy so we just got that and they you know put it all in one so those are my surgeons the gym my waist trainer my mom and my dad so yeah and then someone asked your name is almira are you part colored no i am fully 100 percent black if you want to know what my mom is and my dad is go watch my get to know me tag but i am fully black it's just that my mom comes from here and my dad comes from there so they just wanted to like kind of meet in the middle and give their girls like a you know their girls names that don't have to do with either side um yeah that's basically where my name comes from and then someone said do you work out and if you do uh can you share your go-to workout routine guys i don't go to the gym and say like today i'm doing legs and arms <laughs> glutes and what what and what and what and what my go-to thing is running guys i think i've said this in one of my videos if i could run every day from the for the rest of my life i really would like i feel like running is enough to keep me in shape or in the shape that i like to be at least do you understand so i like to do my two kilometer runs three kilometer runs every day and that kind of just does it for me obviously like i've mentioned before together with waist training and yeah that's what keeps me going and then um how do you stay positive on the hard days i don't want to sit here and tell you that i stay positive on the hard days because on the hard days like what i usually do is just stay in my bed and like wait for the days to pass for that day to pass if it's a hard day i wait for it to pass but honestly like i think i don't do like anything specific i literally just sit there and wait for it to pass because that's one thing about me i really do believe everything will pass the good and the bad and then um someone asked me have you ever dated a nigerian man lol um this is funny this is so funny um i've never dated a nigerian man um i don't think i'll date a nigerian man that is personally just not where i shoot i believe in the south african saying local is like it so yeah and then the biggest takeaway from 2022 is that it can change at any moment my scat your life can change at any moment like it's the little things that cause the big change in your life that's my biggest takeaway from 2022 and then someone said um 
do a q and a with your siblings i don't know if my siblings will want to be on my channel i've got um siblings but i really don't know if they'd want to be here so hopefully we'll come back with a q and a uh, with my siblings and we'll see and then someone asked any advice for first year yo okay i think i'm gonna give like three pointers of advice the first one is have fun because university is fun like university is so fun second one is remember why you're there like you know don't get blinded by the lights because you know sometimes we get to a place and there's so many lights and now we're blinded don't get blinded by the lights and then thirdly um remember that now is the time that you're building for the rest of your life so just be careful with um the decisions you're making this is obviously like in terms of drags in terms of alcohol in terms of partners in terms of like just anything that has to do with you that can affect you in the future just like really think about that because this is the beginning of the rest of your life and then um uh wait sorry guys any advice okay what inspires you someone asked what inspires you what inspires me guys you know what inspires me i really like nice cars like and yeah <laughs> i really like nice cars so i'm just trying to you know do things that are going to get me those nice cars i'm not even joking when i say that and also like something that really inspired me other than like the cause is my number one the second is that like you write your own obituary they say is it obituary it is ne? so like guys i'm always thinking about that i'm just like yo like i want people to remember me as this 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 that so i try and work my way to that you know what i'm saying yeah and then um someone asked do you have a boyfriend and if you do how did you meet um to answer the first part of the question yes i do have a boyfriend and then the second part of the question how did you meet um my boyfriend was my crush for like a month and some change and on a random friday my friends and i decided oh guys let's go out let's go enjoy ourselves so um we had a good time there and then as we were changing for like the second location i saw him and i was like oh my gosh that's my crush and then uh, we were gonna like bump into each other or walk into each other and then as we were like approaching each other i said something to this day i cannot remember what i said but i said something and uh the rest is history then someone said what is your fondest high sc high school memory yo my fondest high school memory is definitely leaving <laughs> guys i don't know i just grew this like hate towards my high school towards the end like it just wasn't a good place so my fondest high school memory is leaving and then someone said advice on dealing with a breakup ngeagowa yo with the breakup the only thing i need you to remember the whole freaking time is that it's gonna pass like it feels like it's not gonna pass but it's gonna pass like i promise you it's gonna pass so feel the emotions feel them don't text her or him leave those people yesterday i was watching a video and mpumi let no mpumi mops said um this year we're letting the dead rest in peace so that's the advice i'm giving to you let your ex rest in peace and then um top five essay youtubers lol i actually don't watch south african youtube that much but that's because i don't enjoy the editing style that most south africans use i'm into like uk people's editing styles but um south african youtubers that i really enjoy someone that i've really been enjoying these days is kanye cakes um she has a great channel man i really love her channel and um og Polly, but i haven't been like watching og Polly's content that much because it has changed obviously since she has transitioned from like varsity into like 
the new part of her life that she's in but those are like okay so it's um who is it kanye cakes og Polly, mpumi mops has a nice channel i watch her channel i really like the ca- the camera quality and just like the way like her editing i love her editing the way her videos are put out i love that editing i actually yeah and then um yeah so i only have mm, like three top south african youtubers and then uh someone said first heartbreak i don't know what i don't know like are they asking me have i ever had my first heartbreak are they asking me like what happened with my first heartbreak but yes i have had my first heartbreak i was uh the i was at the injured i was at the tender age of 20 years old when it happened but it passed and i'm over it now and then um advice to your 16 year old self i actually have a video (laughs) a whole video on this on my channel i'll link it right here so please do watch that and then ah, someone asked have you ever had a girl come to you woman to woman oh my gosh I'd literally faint if someone came to me woman to woman. So the answer to that question is no. And thank God I haven't. Also, I think when I'm, you know, I try to look, I try to go to guys who would not have that track record. Obviously, you'll never know. But, yo, that's just something I don't want to get involved and mixed up in. And then someone asked, are you where you thought you'd be this year? Definitely not. That's something I learned after my trick. You think that things are going to go a certain way and they really don't. Guys, let me tell you, when I was in high school, I thought that when I was 22 or when I was 21, I'd be like on the road to getting engaged so that like when I'm 22, I can get married and then like i don't know man i had this very fairy tale fairy tale like story in my head about where i'd be at 21 guess what i'm not there and i'm quite happy with how everything has turned out truly um because am i ready for marriage right now i'm just not financially there and you know let's just stop there okay and then someone said do you get money from youtube and how much no not yet but we're almost there so i'm going to need you guys to please subscribe to this channel watch my videos just please do what youtube people do or what viewers on youtube do so that we can get there and so that i can answer this question hopefully when i do an updated q a then we can answer this question and then um thoughts on paying for your own food at a birth day dinner okay guys um for me this is like i'm not very fussy about it but i feel like if i if it's my birthday and i say to um tando lebu lakato tato and uh who palisa guys um let's go out whatever whatever then i feel that i am obliged to pay for that dinner obviously like i've invited you guys but if we all come together and we say oh guys let's go out it's your birthday let's go enjoy then i feel like it'd be safe to say uh everyone can cover for themselves do you understand what i mean i think um the most important thing with things like this is how it is talked about from the beginning do you understand what i'm saying and then the last question where do you live you are always on the road i love your content thank you very much um i also answered this question in my get to know me so please do head to that video for the answer thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share like i said my name is almira and i hope that you've enjoyed